Hey guys, Sean here. I want to introduce you to a tool called the Link Disavow Wizard uh, that I built with some awesome input from Bill Seabold at Green Lane SEO. Uh, this tool is built to allow you to build a disavow list by manually checking a whole bunch of domains for spam. Uh, so we believe that the best way to check domains for spam is to actually look at each link, uh, look at the page, and look at the link itself and make a judgment call. Uh, so this tool aims to make that very simple. Uh, so let me show you how it works and what the workflow might look like for you. When you first open the tool, you're going to see uh, the main screen that has the spam and not spam buttons and two big blank boxes. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is set up our list to process. So we're going to go into the Paste Links to Analyze tab. Under Your Domain, obviously we're going to put our domain that we're building the disavow file for. And then in this big box here, we're going to paste in all of the URLs that we found linking to the domain uh, that we want to check for spam. So you can get them from, of course, Google Webmaster Tools for free. Uh, I've got a list here that I pulled out of Majestic, which is a great tool for backlinks. So I'm just simply going to paste in all of those URLs. And once I've done that, I'll just click back to the Disavow Builder main tab. It's going to process all of the thousands of URLs I put in. It's going to load the first one automatically, and it's going to find the link on the page and highlight that in yellow. Up here, it's also going to tell me if the uh, link status is, if there's a link pointing to the page or not, and also give me the page title of the page. And now what you want to do here is just simply see, is this page spam or not? So looking at this, I'm going to say this is spam. So I have a couple choices. I can say just the domain is spam, which will put, or just the URL is spam, which will put the URL in the disavow list. Uh, I can do that with uh, the key S. If I press D, that's going to put the whole domain for this URL in the disavow list. Uh, if I press N, it's going to say that the URL is not spam. And if I press M, it's going to put the whole domain for the URL as OK and not put it in the disavow list. So what I'm going to do here, since this is spam, is I'm just going to go ahead and press D. So that spammed the whole domain. And you can see in the column spam, it's put the word spam and then three stars. And whenever you see the three stars in this column, that means that the whole domain is included, not just the URL. So since I did that, it pulled up the next domain automatically. So this is Justia. That's a great source. So this is not spam. I'm going to press M because all URLs on Justia are OK. And it's pulled up the next one in the list. And it technologies. So this is a web designer. Looks like they made a couple old versions of this client's site. So I'm going to say they're OK. I'm going to press M. Ah, what is this? So this definitely looks like spam. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to disavow this whole domain. Um, this is some cheap web directory, part of AKC Tech Web. So yeah, we're gonna press D and spam the whole domain. This is another low quality directory. I don't know if there's more than one link from here or not, but I'm just gonna spam the whole domain. Here we go. Uh, next one looks like a natural link from a, another law firm. So I'm going to say that's OK. And actually, I'm going to give that whole domain an OK. Another cheap directory. We're going to say this is spam. Whole thing is spammed. Press D. AKC Web Tech again, this time calling itself Web Tech Online Services. Yep, that's definitely spam. D. Up oh, here. Again, AKC Web Tech is now calling itself Web Studianis. Okay, spam. Wow, a lot of stuff from AKC Web Tech. Uh, spam. Whole domain is spam. 
So here's something that looks pretty weird. Um, it's still trying to check for a link, but the page is actually done. So I can actually click view page source and see, okay, this is just something that doesn't work. So I'm just gonna say this whole thing is not spam. Here we go again. This looks familiar, AKC Web Tech. So I can actually also put disavow comments in here. So I'm gonna say spam directories didn't ask for link. And now if I spam it, you can see it's put a disavow comment in there. So that comment is actually for Google. Uh, when Google has the disavow file, comments are included, and if somebody's manually reviewing it, they'll read the comments. Uh, and I can actually go back up here and change stuff. So I said this first one was spam, so I, I should have put a comment in there. Didn't ask for a link. And now if I spam it again, so the comment's back in there. Now, all this stuff that was on the domain level, I can click the domain level tab here and manage my domain level disavows and my domain level approvals. If something's in here accidentally, I can just double click it to remove. I can also add comments here and update it so that we'll have a comment on the domain level disavow. And then, when I am all done, I can export the disavow file, and it's going to save it as a text file that's already formatted to go straight into Google. Looks a little bit like this. You see the comments are in there. Uh, so this can just be put directly into Google for the disavow. Now, if I'm working on a huge list here, so you see we have 2,881 and we did up to 30. So I can save the progress and that's going to create a DVW file that I can open up again later and uh, continue exactly where I left off. And I can also send this to my teammates who might want to pick up where I left off, um, especially on a big disavow file with thousands and thousands of domains. Uh, that can be a big help. So that's basically it. Um, hope this tool is helpful and uh, if you have any questions please send us an email or leave something in the comments.